afternoon, boys and girls. I hope you enjoy doing this craft bag. You'll have two crafts. You have a snack to fix, and you have some edible Play-Doh to work with. So I hope you enjoy this. It's the first thing you're going to do on this, now you can do it however you want to, is your pumpkin jar. What I am going to have ready for you when you pick up your bag is you're gonna get this little jar and inside this little jar you will have orange paint and the lid will be on nice and tight and it will be in this little plastic bag in your down in your bag when you get this and get ready to do it you're going to roll the paint around till it's completely covered i tell you the easiest thing to do after you get it started is just to turn it over and let it drain like this turn it over on its top and just let it sit there for about five minutes and it will go all the way down so that will be your easiest way to do it. And your lid will be on nice and tight when I send it to you. So don't mess with the lid because mom's not going to want this orange paint on her cabinet. So what you will have in your little bag, you'll get a little Ziploc bag with your jar. You will have a green circle that you put on top of your jar lid. And you have a stem. You will have two triangle eyes, a triangle nose, and a little mouth. The easiest way to glue this, if you have a glue stick, is put your belt piece after you get it out of your bag on top of your glue stick and move it back and forth and then place it on your jaw. That way it'll stick a little bit better, okay? And when you glue this, on this, you put glue on top of the jar lid and put your green felt on top of that. For your stem, put your glue on your stem, okay? And then plop it down on top of your green felt. I experimented a lot with this. Glue's not easy to work with. I thought glue dots might work better, but they didn't. You, your uh, craft glue, your little stick glue. Ah, here. Here it is. <laughs> right here. If you have a glue stick at home, why use that? that? That will be the easiest thing to use. And this is our paint that will be in the bottom of your jar. So. Make sure your lid is on tight before you start rolling it around and then turn your jar upside down and it will drain down. Because I will completely cover the bottom of your jar in orange paint. Okay, your next craft will be this little skeleton. You will have all of your pieces in a Ziploc bag you will have 16 thin strips. Each arm has, each uh, arm has four strips a piece and each leg has four strips a piece. You will have for the center a little bit wider strip. See right here and you glue it onto your head, your skeleton's head, and then you have three little triangles that go down for his bones, and then I have started the body for you. you take your strip and make it into a circle, and then as you add it, you add it like that and go down, okay? But you make a circle, put your glue, put this in here, make a circle, okay? And then it will go down, 
like that. Okay? Can you see that? All of you made chains to go around a Christmas tree. And that's what you're doing with your skeleton. You'll have all your strips in there. All right, for your snack, you're going to make a spider. You will get a double fudge Oreo. You will get uh, eight pretzel sticks. And you will stick your pretzel sticks like that inside your cookie. Four on each side. All of this will be in your Ziploc bag. Now, these are going to be your teeth for your spider. So what you want to do, this little goot, you want to stick them like that. You want the big end going in to the frosting. Okay? Then I'm going to put a little bit of frosting in a little plastic container for you to put on top of your cookie to hold its eyes on, okay? So you put a little dab of frosting on top of your cookie here and that will hold on your eyes. Let me get my frosting here. So we'll get just a little dab. your edible eyes. There's your spider. If you don't want its, its teeth out that far, you can cut your uh, candy corn in half. Okay. There's your edible spider. Now the last thing that you will have in there is you will have, this is a fourth a cup in this little con plastic container of pumpkin, and you will have a fourth of a cup of uh, cornstarch. If you have cinnamon home, I didn't put the cinnamon in there, you put a fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon, and I will put that in your directions in your bag if you want it to have a cinnamony smell. You can put a fourth a teaspoon of cinnamon in it. What you do is take this out and put it in a bowl that mom has at home and stir your pumpkin and your cornstarch together and your cinnamon if you choose to and stir it and work it with your hands, knead it, and then you make it into a ball and you have your edible Play-Doh. You will have your pumpkin edible Play-Doh. I hope you have fun with this. If you enjoy this, we'll do it again, okay? Thanks.